Hello everybody, Helcrex here, and welcome to another Mercenary Thoughts from the Inner Sphere, episode 290. Alright, today we're going to be talking about the Spectre 35-ton mech that will soon have a plastic with the next Kickstarter, from my understanding. So we may be seeing the Micro Eliminator. Yeah, something like that. Alright... We, or ex, not eliminator, exterminator. What am I thinking? All right, so the Spectre 35 tons. It is a 711 7, highly mobile with an XL engine. So if you put an XL engine on a light mech, speed it up. Has endo steel with 11 double heat sinks, 119 points of armor, so maxed out for a 35 tonner. And it has a lot of interesting equipment. We have a large laser in the right arm. It has two medium lasers in the left arm. It has a small laser in the head. Guardian ECM in the right torso. And we have jump jets in the center torso, right and left torso, and right and left leg. So, yeah, this is basically the little brother of the exterminator. Uh, get good speed. Uh, 7-Eleven is what I expect to be pretty much in the, um, Star League era or in the Clan War era. The minimum amount of speed necessary to have a light mech to try to survive with. And it does, uh, provide that. And... With the Guardian ECM, it uh, keeps a nice little bubble away from Artemis and it, those C3 systems that might be out there. With the uh, ECM just shutting it down, that's good. Uh, it can be handy with the jump jets. It can get around, go over obstacles, and uh, make itself very useful. And with the 7-Eleven speed, well, you have the potential up to a 4-mod to provide yourself some life-giving opportunity. And that means not getting shot. So, it, uh, I sort of believe when I'm, actually when I'm looking at this, is when a mech like this has this kind of technology on board, I personally would like to have seen it with um, ER large laser, which, I do believe that, you know, it would be nice to give a little bit more distance. Even if it's four, uh, you're able to get out there and touch something a little bit farther and stay away. Because this uh, mech actually would probably do better staying out at a distance, not getting in close until later in the game. When you're, you know, it's like when you're, like our typical games that we play, the uh, smallest typical game is a company on a company you know why if you're playing battletech why would you play with anything less than 12 mechs on the side which is easy for one person to handle so <clears throat> uh when you're playing a game like that you know you get your heaviers and uh mechs and heavier medium mechs and maybe you might have an assault or something running around and hammering away each other getting their armor tore off and then this is where this mech will dive in this is like a mid uh middle of the game type of uh mech flanker uh it's doing the anti-scout role for the uh pretty much for the most part during the game and then uh when things are tore up and the bigger pigs are hammering away at each other and you're this thing will dive in and then start doing uh good work i usually play this similar to how i play a wolfhound later in the game you know pretty much it's a fast moving wolfhound and which i kind of like this whole design of it uh to begin with now if you didn't have the guardian ecm you know you're looking at two more medium lasers on board so yeah it will do a good uh, amount of work now there are a couple other uh, different versions of this Star League era mech. All right, so we have the 4F, 
uh, this variant carries the Guardian ECM, one large laser in the right arm, two medium lasers in the left. More importantly, it has extremely stealthy, it has both the Chameleon and the uh, Null Signature systems on board. Basically, this is kind of your um, early version. This is the actual Star League version that has those two systems. The newer one, the, the 5F coming off the assembly line, does not have the Chameleon uh, system or the Null Signature uh basically the chameleon light polarized shield and in game uh basically uh you're able to uh take care you know say basically it's a tech early stealth technology system so and then the uh null signature system uh this one uh, mass your your heat uh, that you're putting out from your heat sinks in, in conjunction with your chameleon system uh, it does generate more heat so it has generates 10 heat but you know because you're a little hotter but it uh, also it's like when you're at long range <laughs> you got a plus two more modifier so if this thing is flying around at uh, long range and it got it for it basically could have a six uh mod on board so yeah that's not bad but that's only star league era mechs that will have that so there you go all right then we have the 5s version uh this one was put together by steiner davian um catherine staver da davian and this one has stealth armor on board. So basically you're getting back to like the chameleon armor, but then now you have stealth armor on board. And uh, it also has uh, one of the medium lasers has been turned into a medium pulse laser, shortening the range, but you know, with the speed it has, it might be able to make up the difference with that. So getting in closer. So, yeah. But personally, I'd rather have the medium lasers. And let's see, what is the battle value? It is roughly... Well, it's cheaper by 20 points. 20 points cheaper. The other one's almost 2,000. Or 1,200. I mean, 1,200 battle value for the standard 5F version. And then the... Uh, thir a little over 13 for the 4F. The... Uh, a little bit 20 uh, eh, less than the 5S. Now, then there's the ST version. This one removes the jump jets, mounts an ER large laser, two ER medium lasers, and it retains the stealth armor and a Guardian ECM, but adds a targeting Peter. It makes, you know, and then it has mask. So, <laughs> yeah. So now you have a, um, with a mask system, Mask could be useful, but in my hands, every time I roll a mask roll, I always fail. I'm guaranteed. I'm, I don't know what it is, but and, but you're running around 1,500 battle value with this. But with a targeting pewter and your large laser and twin uh, medium lasers, you are looking at 22 heat. If you run, you're looking at 24. So you can do that two turns in close or you can jump and fire the ER large and not worry about the heat problem. Unless you're running stealth. Well, in stealth, you're adding heat on board. So, yeah, there is that. But if you mask, then you can really kick up the speed. But with a 7-Eleven mech, doing the mask really isn't going to gain you much unless you really need to get behind somebody for some reason then you might consider masking but yeah a uh, uh it's just one of those mechs where I'm going, eh, okay but when you're out we're using uh stealth armor eh, it will work to your advantage to uh 
uh, stay away from being hit and out there at long range. So it adds those uh, basic modifiers. Okay, so that is it uh, with the Spectre in a nutshell. Uh, personally, the uh, the only modification I would consider with the the Spectre is replace the standard large laser with an ER large laser. Give myself a little bit more room to maneuver with for the envelope of firing uh, distance. So yeah, that that's pretty much it. That's um, that's it in a nutshell. I don't mind having medium lasers on board. You know, it's, it's too bad you can't have more of them. But, you know, with the ECM bubble, uh, that actually is kind of helpful in the long run. Especially when you're helping out your uh, your mates uh, for Vagnet from being hammered with uh, <laughs> those that love to run Artemis uh, uh, LRMs so, or uh, SRMs. So, that's it. That is the Spectre. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. And we'll see you in the next one. Uh, Elk Rex out.